What's up everybody? Welcome to the part of my channel where I talk about fitness related topics instead of trucks. I gotta be honest, I'm very surprised on how well my first video did about this kind of stuff last week on Tuesday. I didn't think there was gonna be as many people as there was interested in watching these types of videos. So that really fired me up and motivated me to shoot more videos for you guys. So let's get into this video. Today we're gonna be talking about a very common problem that lots of people have when they're trying to start working out, which is how do you put on muscle when you're a skinny kid? Well, luckily your host for the evening has been through this himself and has learned a lot of valuable things along the way. So let's start with the most important thing by far, which is your diet. Skinny people generally have very quick metabolisms, which basically means you can go eat shit food, junk food and whatever, and you won't put on any fat and you'll stay skinny and you won't gain weight. And basically for a lot of people, they feel as if it doesn't matter how much food they eat, they're still stuck at the same weight and they can never gain weight and get past that barrier. For me personally, when I weighed around 175 pounds, 180 pounds, I could not get past 180 pounds for the life of me. And to be honest, it wasn't until I actually got a coach and started weighing out my foods and my meals and eating consistent amounts all throughout the day that I actually was able to put on more weight and get past that. Before I had a coach, I honestly thought I was eating so much food. I was putting down constant chicken and rice throughout the whole damn day. I wasn't weighing anything out, but the portions that I was eating I thought were huge. But my problem was I wasn't eating enough food and I thought I was, but I actually wasn't. If you're watching this video right now and you're skinny and you're trying to put on weight but you can't and you think there's no way that you can, chances are you're just not eating enough food, even if you think you're eating a lot. Like for me, the past three months, my diet consisted of eating almost 9,000 calories every single day, and that's just through clean food. No pizza, no nothing like that. Just chicken and rice and beef and rice and simple things like that. And for anybody who knows anything about food and macros, that's an intense amount of food. 9,000 calories is a lot of food. You ask my cat, he'll tell you the same thing. So that's the first point, is your diet. You have to be eating more food. A little bit of junk food is definitely okay for you if you're a skinny kid who's got a super high metabolism. You could definitely have a couple cheat meals a week, but for the most part, you should be taking in all clean food. Clean carbs like potatoes, rice, and proteins like chicken or beef and stuff like that. The only tricky part about this is that the amounts that you take in of these clean foods will differ depending on exactly how your body responds to things and how you start to gain weight. And your diet constantly needs to be getting reviewed viewed as your body changes. All right, the second point I'm gonna make in this video is talking about your training. If you are skinny and you don't have a lot of muscle on your body, you have to be working towards lifting heavy. You can't be going into the gym every week, throwing a plate on the bench press or a plate in the 25 on the squat and doing the same amount of reps, same amount of sets every week. You will not gain the muscle that you need that way. Progressive overload type of training is essential for you in your workouts if you are trying to gain muscle. Basically what progressive overload is, is continually increasing the weight and the stress that's placed upon the body every single week and as frequently as possible. So for example, you go into train a leg day, you're squatting a plate and a 25 on each side for like 10 to 12 reps. Next week when you go in, you're not going to attempt that. Maybe you're gonna try 195 for the same amount of reps that you got 185 for the week before, or you're gonna try 205 for a little bit less reps. It's all about increasing the amount of stress that you put on your muscles and your body. Because when your body sees that you're continually upping the weight that you use, when we do that, basically our bodies go, okay, there's this amount of weight that we have to handle now, so we have to get bigger and stronger to be able to handle this easier, which then triggers our body to get bigger and stronger. But one thing you guys have to keep in mind is never sacrifice your form. If you're performing a squat and you're not hitting the right depth and you're trying to up the weight, you're not going to benefit yourself whatsoever. If you don't go all the way down in a squat, you won't even be hitting the right muscles that you need to stimulate to cause this growth to happen. And ultimately, your goal should be able to do heavy weight for a lot of reps with the right form. Simple as that. So to sum up the point number two for you guys, basically, progressive overload has to be a key in all of your workouts. For somebody who's trying to lose weight, for example, they won't be training the same way as somebody who's trying to gain muscle. Somebody who's trying to lose weight would typically just be doing more higher reps in their sets. Progressive overload would still be implemented to a certain degree, but it would not be done the same way at all that you would if you're trying to gain muscle like a madman. Ugh. All right, so our third point here is going to be making sure that you guys get enough sleep. The only time our bodies actually grow and repair our muscles is when we're sleeping. If you take somebody who's getting five hours of sleep a night versus somebody who's getting eight a night, the person who's sleeping eight hours a night is gonna have way more time for their bodies to recover and rebuild. And if both of these people have the first two points that I talked about in check, then the person who has more sleep is going to put on more muscle than the person with less sleep. Some people might put into your head that you need to take steroids or something to get really big and put on a lot of muscle. Honestly, no you don't. If you're eating like a complete madman, training like a madman, getting enough sleep, your body is going to change drastically. You're gonna be surprising yourself, 
people around you are gonna be like, holy shit, what's happening to this guy? Anything fitness related, those three points are gonna be your main structure and the most important things to focus on by far. And in this video, I pretty much just summed up how to approach each of those three categories. If you are indeed a smaller human, that doesn't have very much muscle on that wants to put on muscle weight you got to keep in mind though building muscle takes time it is not something that happens quick and if it was something that came easy everybody you see walking around wouldn't be average bodies an average body would be a big jack body but it's not you know why because it's not easy it's hard and lots of people aren't willing to have the dedication or what it takes to accomplish their goals the things you need to do to get there aren't that complicated actually doing it and sticking to it is what the complicated part is so anyways guys I hope this video can help some of you guys out starting your transformation starting your journey to getting jacked whatever it may be make sure you leave a comment down below if there's any specific topic you want to see me talk about in next Tuesday's video if anybody has any questions or you're interested in getting coaching done by me feel free to send me an email I always take the time to write back to everybody thank you for checking out my video and until the next one I will see you guys later